This is Cook and Cassis for IFL TV in association with Matt and Jim Arbour with the Leeds First Direct Arena. With me I've got a very distraught Tommy Cole. Um, very disappointing night for you. Yeah man, I just... Dream just uh, shattered, you know, like 21 years. Genuinely thought it was my time tonight. Like, I'm just... I live and breathe the game day in, day out. I couldn't be, you know, I'm not saying I'm the most disciplined because every fighter is but you know i'm a disciplined kid i give it my, my life everything 110 percent every day and i just you know i'm sort of tired home probably but i just genuinely believed that it was my time tonight and uh fuck, i didn't visualize this thing didn't visualize this outcome so it was it's a big shock for me it was a very very close fight um how did you see it as it was sort of approaching sort of 10, 11, 12? What did you, what did you think? Where did you think you was in the fight? I knew it was nip and tuck. I really did. Um, I just thought that, that knockdown, which, you know, let's have it right, he maybe didn't quite have his footing, but it was a good jab. And, you know, we had practice that, that stiff jab. It was like a stop jab, we called it in training camp, because, you know, we've seen uh, Dave Ryan do it to him before, so we knew he was, you know, susceptible to it. So... You know, it was a shot that we'd worked on, the good stiff uh, stop jab, and I just thought that that, that point would have, would have ticked it in my favour. And, you know, he, I, I was the one pressing the fight and, you know, trying to trying to engage and turn it into the type of fight it was. Just genuinely believed. Well, you could see by my reaction at the end of the fight, just thought, you know, I'd done enough. I didn't think I'd, you know, walked it by a golden mile. I knew it was close, but really, really thought I'd uh, got a split, a split decision. You, you've never been in a dull fight, and it, it's no consolation to you that some of your fights, like I said, which you have come out on the, the wrong side, people patting you in the back and saying to you, it was a great fight, but that isn't any consolation to you in the in the greater scheme of things, is it? I don't know, I can keep doing it, because I really don't. We've just fucking, the disappointment and the outbreak, it fucking kills me, man. Like, it's all right being this, everyone's... People's champion and the one they all want to watch and whatever. What about me? What about my feelings? You know what I mean? It's fucking horrible, man. Losing and that. I don't want to lose. I want to win. I want, I want to be British champion. I want to keep losing and entertain everyone. I want to be a champion. What is this? You're right. It's fucking gutted, man. Tommy, was this in somewhat a more disappointing night than the Luke Campbell night for you? Yeah, 100%. Listen, the Luke Campbell fight, I wanted in the place I was in tonight. I, I was beat before I even got in the ring against Luke Campbell. Put Luke on this pedestal, you know, made out he was the golden boy and he was the best ever and I was, you know, never fit to lace his boots. And I thought he was unbeatable, but Mendy proved that theory wrong when he went and, you know, when he went and beat him. And if I'd, if I'd have entered... The Campbell fight with the mentality I had tonight, I'd have beat Luke Campbell, 100%, because Luke Campbell can't live with the type of guy I am inside. I'm a different animal. And, um, yeah, tonight, I, I had a mindset that I would have walked through a brick wall to win that British side and take it home to my little boy. And I, I just, I thought I'd done it. But, listen, let's have Tyrone, you know, he dug in just as deep as I did, so credit to him. And uh, I want to say that, well done, Tyrone. You, you're a top fighter. Um... I'm just gutted, Cougar. I really am gutted. It must have been difficult for you to go into that dressing room about five minutes ago and to hold See that British title. Yeah. Like, you, you know, my phone. Where's my bag? Pass, go in the side pocket, pass my, my phone. Eight weeks before the fight, like when we got the fight announced, I went into Jamie's house and he's got all his beautiful belts in his, in his um, bedroom and... Uh, you know, like, I took a picture of it. Look, I took a picture of it and I've had it on my, my front screen for eight weeks. And I honestly didn't visualise anything else other than me holding that belt at the end and I'm saying, and the new. Oh, fuck, it just, just didn't happen, man. It didn't happen. But. You you know, you've been in this situation before where you've, you've had to pick yourself up after defeat. I don't know where, like I said, your motivation levels lie for moving forward, but. You, you do know how to come back from something like this. 
Yeah, of course I do, but you know what, Krug, like, I'm always in wars, yeah, i got a baby boy who's one years of age. I could have stayed with me, man. I want to be able to read my bedtime story when he's two or three, do you know what I mean? I want to get out of the game with all my faculties intact. I just, right now, you know, I'm devastated. I don't know. Don't. I can do the wars day in, day out. I love fighting. I genuinely love fighting. But you know what? I don't know how I can do the heartbreak. The heartbreak's what's killing me. You know, like, I just wanted to be a champ so bad. I wanted to be the British champ. 21 years gives this game my life. And, like, all's never had a British champion. It was my chance tonight to get in the history books and bring it back. And it's just been tucked from under my feet. Obviously, this I mean, this fight's just finished literally half an hour ago, but you just want to take some time out now just to sort of yeah, I'll assess go. the situation? I'm going to take my fiance away and my little baby boy, spend some time with him and just, uh, yeah, just catch up with him, really, because, like, you know, they, they not just me sacrificing, they sacrifice so much as well, and uh, I want to catch up with them, spend some time with the kids in the gym as well, like, we've got two gyms and... I, mean, I love all the kids to bits, you know what I mean? And uh, I'll go spend some time with him and try and spread myself as thin as I can before, you know, it, it, it's time to spend some time in the dark and just think about what I'm going to do. Have you got just something you want to say to obviously the people who have yeah, supported listen, you throughout I, this and have know, always been there for you? Probably 250 people have come up from all tonight. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know, when it, I've said it before, when it gets tough in the fight, type of fights I'm in and I can hear you all shouting, you know, it means the world to me. And just the respect you give me around Hull and what have you. And not, not just people, you know, you know, all the boxing fans up and down the country, you know, they always give me good raps and, you know, positive messages on Twitter. Um, so, you know, you fans, you're different class. Thank you very much, Coog. You always um, give me, a, you know, your time and come and interview me. So thank you to you. Eddie Earn, different class. You know, always, always gets me the fights. Jamie Moore, Nigel Travis, different class. I had my good pal Billy Dawson with me, you know, in this camp, being helping me and mentoring me mentally, being a great uh, asset. All my brothers, my mum, my missus, you know, my, you know, my, my cousin William, just just everybody. I've got I've got some good people around me, uh, you know, on my board, on my foundation. You know, I haven't had to, you know, get involved in my gyms at all. You know, for this eight-week camp, I've left it to, you know, my board. So I want to, you know, give them a massive thank you. And all, all the, you know, I don't call them staff, the team in the gym, you know, thank you to them just taking all the pressure off me. And if there's anyone I've missed, I'm uh, I'm very sorry and you can black the other eye. I said my mum and my dad. <laughs> yeah, Jack and Sam latest, yeah, they've been top kids in this camp. You know, just even the warm up today, Bill, in the changing room, I was firing when I got in there and that was designed by, you know, the latest brothers. So I'm glad you reminded me there, Bill, thank you. So yeah, thank you, Cook. All right, well, listen, I won't take too much of your time, so I appreciate the time you've given us tonight. And yeah. like I said, um, I'm trying to get some sleep. Thanks, mate. And uh, well, hopefully we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks. All right, thanks, Tommy.